What's up, tubers, and welcome to this week's video. As promised two years ago, I want to say. Uh, I think that's when Deadpool came out. Uh, I am giving you guys a movie review for Deadpool. Now, anyone who knows me knows I love Marvel Comics. I am a Marvel Comics girl. I am not a DC girl very much. Um, but I love Marvel Comics, and Deadpool is just the... He is the comic relief slash realist dead the marvel character you will ever meet there was a lot of controversy when deadpool first came out over the rating of it because it was r-rated and a lot of people were saying oh make it pg-13 oh what if we want to take our kids to see it and it's like if you want to take your kids to see it first of all crack open a deadpool comic book and second of all get yourself a reality check because deadpool is in no way shape or form anything but r-rated <laughs> We will start off with the main characters of Deadpool, or who I consider the main characters of Deadpool, because, well, really, the main character is Deadpool, but <laughs> I consider a few other characters also main in it. Uh, first, obviously, we have Wade Wilson, who is Deadpool. Um, he is fondly known as the Merc with the Mouth. With the mouth. <laughs> um, he has a sarcastic, witty comeback for everything, and absolutely no qualms about any consequences for his actions. Unless, of course, it negatively affects someone he cares about. Which brings us to the second main character, Vanessa. Uh, do I want to say Hooker? Pretty much. Hooker turned uh, housewife, <laughs> basically. Uh, she shared a rather interesting night of arcade games with Wade and uh, slowly built their relationship from there. After that would come Weasel, uh, otherwise known as Deadpool's best friend. He runs a bar uh, that frequents not so nice people, but at the same time they're all kind of gems compared to Wade himself. <laughs> uh, after that we have the two bad guy main characters in my opinion, which would be uh, Ajax, aka Francis, <laughs> and his girlfriend Angel. They are the ones running the facility that is designed to trigger mut uh, latent mutant genes and well <laughs> they're not nice well no Angel's not nice Ajax is just messing with the wrong person <laughs> um, supporting characters again this is my opinion may not actually be what the um, producers of the movie wanted but first you have Dopinder the wonderful cab driver who takes Wade's advice just a little too far, um, and yeah, but he is definitely, he's dope <laughs> Uh, up next you have the wonderful, um, elderly blind woman that Wade ends up living with, uh, known as Al. Um, she's basically a cranky, older female version of Wade, um, without the superpowers. <laughs> you also have two of the X-Men. You have Colossus, um, who as we know is a gigantic Russian dude made of metal. Alongside Colossus you have his trainee uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead who for, you know, the sake of my tongue, we're just gonna call Nega. Um, both are, well, Nega is there to be the stereotypical grouchy teenager, and Colossus is there to be the stereotypical good, good guy who's trying to get Wade to join the X-Men and not kill people and, you know, find the better side of himself. It doesn't really work out too well for <laughs> Colossus. Um, plot of the movie is basically we are seeing the creation of Deadpool. Now, those familiar with the Marvel Cinematic Universe know we've Excuse me. No, we have met Deadpool before. Um, back in the first Wolverine movie, we met him as part of Wolverine's little mutant. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> battalion. We'll go with battalion. It's the only word I can think of. Um, <laughs> it's not the word I want, but it's the word we're going with. Um, and again, he, it's once again playing by Ryan Reynolds and still, you know, Mark with the mouth, amazing at what he does. Uh, 
Stryker does find a way to shut him up at the end of the movie by getting rid of his mouth. Um, but this is more true to how Deadpool comes to be, at least to my knowledge. Um, and it takes us through seeing him as just Wade Wilson all the way to becoming the Deadpool we know and love. But it's not, it's not, it's not your typical, you know, start at the beginning, like, take like, mm, we'll say Spider-Man. Uh, you start off with Peter and then go all the way to the end of the first Spider-Man movie. And, but it's not like that. It's, it starts off with him already as Deadpool and you're sort of going through, um, flashbacks to how he became what he is, you know, jumping back and forth between present and past and you've got Deadpool narrating it and everything, which brings me to my next point of fourth wall shatter. Now, normally it's just called fourth wall break, but as most people know, even in the comic books, the fourth wall does not exist for Deadpool. The fourth wall being the barrier between fantasy and reality, between TV show and audience. Um, yeah, to Deadpool, that does not exist. He frequently breaks it. There's one point in the movie where he's saying something, and Colossus reminds him that he can hear him, and he tells him that he's not talking to him, he's talking to us, obviously, the audience. <laughs> And it just, it just adds such a, it adds a realism to the movie that just makes it so much more fun. And like I said, it's like that in the comic books as well. Um, fourth Wall does not exist to Wade anywhere that he is. Um, we do have a Stan Lee cameo, obviously, because it is a Marvel movie. He is a um, strip club DJ type person. I wouldn't, maybe not DJ, DJ might not be the right word, but you know, announcer. There we go. Um, which, it's Stan Lee, so we'll just we'll let him have his, let him have his time. Overall, my opinion of Deadpool is it was amazing. Uh, definitely not a movie to be watching while eating, which we did. We went and saw it at Chunky's, and I almost choked on my food several times. Uh, several times. I can talk. I have a canker sore on my tongue, so I'm trying not to, um... But yeah, it is. You will be laughing hysterically through most of the movie. There are some serious parts, obviously, um, because even with Wade, there are serious moments. But for the majority of the movie, you are laughing hysterically. Um, I'll actually insert a picture here. This was Orion after the first time we watched it here at home. I think watching Deadpool killed him. <laughs> um, uh, which, I don't know why, it was a good movie. Probably not for five-year-old kitties, though. Um, I would definitely, definitely, though, even if you're not familiar with the Marvel Comics universe, if you're only familiar with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, watch Deadpool. You will not regret it. Um, even if you're not familiar with Deadpool, or really... No, it's pretty much just not familiar with Deadpool. If you're not familiar with Deadpool, I still suggest go watch it, because the hilarity of it and it's an origin movie so obviously you're gonna learn as you go along but you're also gonna laugh as you go along and you're gonna laugh a lot <laughs> I promise you you will enjoy the movie um so that is my review for Deadpool um, I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to give the video a thumbs up if you did leave a comment down below what your opinion of the Deadpool movie was if you have seen it if not please go watch it you will not regret it uh, as always my social media and blog site will be linked down below and I will see you guys in next week's video bye